Randy Poop for you. Um, this is another Silver Dollars game. I might as I might as well just call this segment Silver Dollars doesn't give a fuck Emily, about you. There's a doctor here to see you. Hello, Emily. I'm Doctor Winters. Oh, how are you feeling today? Okay. That's good. <laughs> That's the Emily, doctor. I'm just gonna ask you a few questions. Is that okay with you? Apparently, the doctor is me. Okay. Do you know why you're here? No. Do you remember what happened before you came to this hospital? Yes. Would you like to tell me what happened? What happened? No. Were you driving? Model, photograph of model, more models. Oh, that. Bad people. Oh. Can you tell me what happens in the story? Okay. Okay, but you have to promise not to tell anyone. My lips are sealed. Hell sluts. It says hell sluts there. That's me tied up. Fatal seduction. I can't move my arms because I'm in a special jacket. Don't worry, I'm not always wearing it. I used to live in a house with my mommy uh, and daddy. Ish. My Which? grandpa was rich, so we had a really cool house. Red things bad. My mom and dad were very happy. That was them before I was born. And that's them on vacation. Oh, okay. I had to grow up to be as pretty as my mom. But then one day, when I was what? really little, my mom got into a car crash. Okay. My dad says she went to heaven, but I didn't believe in heaven. Why would she go there and leave me here? I know she went to hell. She was me for a while, and some angel came to visit. She told me that demons are coming. She oh. said I must have to fight these demons what? to save me and my dad. What? And the angel said the worst demons are the ones that are disguised. What the they fuck is this? My attack does nothing! She told me that the demons were looking Bitch lad, bitch lad, bitch lad, bitch lad. It was my job to protect him. That was hard because my dad is lonely and the girls seem to like him a lot. One night, when I was supposed to be in bed, I snuck downstairs to see my dad's girlfriend waiting for him on the couch. She must have been cold because she didn't have much on. Oh my god. She keeps talking about how pretty she is. Oh and how my she's god. She's in magazines and stuff. Oh my god. I think she looks like a whore, though. I think she looks like a whore, says the little girl. Oh, I'm stepping on the little thing. Yeah! The angel told me to go into the kitchen and get a knife. Give me a knife, thank you. And the angel told me to kill her. She said the girl was a demon sent from hell, and the demon was going to kill everyone. So I did what any good daughter would I do. killed the naked girl. Ugh. Okay. Demon. Yes. Baby demon. Eh. It was my first time, so I didn't really know what to do. So I just kept cutting. I wanted to send this demon back to hell where it belonged. Okay. I was almost there. I remember seeing the demon get weaker. I felt his energy draining from its body. After a long time, I finally killed the demon. I made sure the demon was dead too. I think I must have stabbed it like tons of times. Like tons of times. The angel told me to go outside and break the back window with a rock, then hide the knife. So I did that as fast as I could. Police were everywhere, and my dad was sad. Oh, I felt bad for my dad, but the angel told me I did the right thing. I'm standing outside the home of Carl Ritter, where Mary Miner's body was found. Oh my god, this is terrible. Like, do you see these drawings that keep going by? I just, like, I'm sorry, I haven't had a whole lot to say, because I'm just, I'm so baffled by... By the combination of this weird, semi-mature story and this just terrible artwork. It's just horrible. It looks like garbage! It was school, a school. school. Little structure. tiny piece of shit thing. And it's like, he sort of wrote school on there barely. There you probably can't even see it. I'm gonna kill the sperm. Was this? The angel came back and gave me the courage to keep fighting. My teacher started to hang around my dad a lot. Oh, and then I killed my teacher because she was a demon too. Because I'm daddy's little angel. No one else, no one else can have him. My teacher was a demon and I didn't even notice. Oh my god. 
She was always touching my dad in places only grown-ups touch. Yeah, and she was a grown-up, but my teacher's an evil slut. My teacher is an evil slut. Acts like an adult. So I have to stab her like tons of times. So one day I went to school with my knife in my backpack. Oh my god, are you serious? I poked her eye out. It's like it's sort of I was trying to protect my dad. Ugh. I win. It, it, it's sort of like they maybe played the dishwasher, which was a fantastic indie game, which we will play now. Thank you, whatever this game was called, I can't remember now. Um, you inspired me to actually play a good game. The yeah, the dishwasher, where you're the crazy samurai goat dishwasher chef dude and murder people. It has this sort of chalky sketchbook look, but it's a hundred gazillion million times better. I could tell it was uh. really And it, like, you have combos and there's a story sort of. Start, you know, story's probably on par with this, but definitely better presentation. When I killed this demon, <sighs> I felt a lot different than when I killed the first demon. Why is that? It felt good to kill this one, because I knew this one was really, really bad. Really bad? The angel didn't help me clean up this time. I had to do it all by myself. It's okay, because I knew what to do so I wouldn't get in trouble. It's weird. Like, there's no challenge to this so far. I mean, enemies walk up to me and they hit me, but it's just like an inconvenience. It's, they just like push me back. They're like, hey, don't be so close to me. I'm like, step, step. They're like, please stop it. I'm like, step, step. They're like, come on, bro. I'm just trying to go about my daily thing. And I'm step, 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 step. And then full health. I still didn't get to see him until the next day. My dad spent a lot of time at the police station after that. I would sometimes go with him or stay at home with the babysitter. I would tell the babysitter about the angel and demons sometimes. And then she didn't seem to care. The babysitter was my only friend, really. Uh. She would take me to places to get candy and stuff. I talked to her and she didn't care, but she, she was, was really my only friend, too. really. She kind of looks like my mom. Deep with my candy supply. Then she told me a ghost story. Somehow the demons heard it too, and they started to send their own ghosts after me. The angel told me not to worry about the ghosts. I can get rid of ghosts with demon blood. I just had to avoid the ghosts until I can find some demon blood. The what? The angel helped me avoid them too. What? She's nice that way. Uh, One night, the angel came uh, down and told me all about the demons from hell. Alright. She told me... Thank you. Um... Really weird, creepy story. Kind of makes me uncomfortable, Silver Dollars. Um... Uh, are you starting to get jaded and dissatisfied with your game developer life and now you're making weird, horrific, Saw-inspired horror games? Because that's sort of cool, I guess.